Welcome back from a Graphic Extras. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a font now with on Windows. But uh, with Windows, it has changed over the years. So if you're using early versions, there's a different way of doing it. You have to go to the Fonts panel, Control panel, and use the Install or Add Font feature. It's quite a long time ago. I must admit, I can't remember all the various things. Now, I'm going to actually show you how to do it with Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 in particular, because that's what I'm using. And now, just going to go over here, and here's a font. You can actually go over, just select it. There's a preview option. You select the preview. You can, it'll come up and will offer the option install. Just go to that, and you enter password. Of course, depending on your account, you might just be able to install it straight away. Another option to do, you could do go right click, and there is the install option. Again, you can just right click, select the install, and then enter your press password, etc. And you should get it installed over here in the fonts control panel. There's also another option, and that's just select the file and then drag the file over to the fonts panel over here, and it will come up with again asking you for your user account details so you can actually put the font into the. Well, I've actually done that, done that all previously. And the font is actually already added to the control panel. There's the font. I say this is on Windows. The Mac, slightly different way of doing it. Obviously, you just have to use the font book application. But uh, there's the actual font. Now, once it's been included, now if you're using something like, say, Word or WordPad, I actually haven't got Word on this machine, so I can't actually show Word. But if I'm using WordPad, you've got all the fonts, obviously, the standard fonts here. and Here's the actual font. Contour. Weird, actually in the list it actually shows it the characters. Up here it actually shows you as a font name. Obviously you can set the size. And then just type letters A, B, G, whatever. And the designs can be obviously used. Any size. That sort of thing. And you can do various other things with the designs. I hope you found this quick run through of interest. Thank you much.